Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Stark played here. Another tutorial for you. Um, today's episode is going to be Dwarf Flesh. Um, I did one a while ago, um, but thinking back, uh, the, the lighting on it was shocking. So uh, I've managed to pull my finger out and sort the lighting out, and hopefully, this one will be a bit better for you. So uh, let's crack on. So here's a, a quick shot of the palette that we've got for today. Um, I'm going slightly different on this one from the last one. Um, what we've got here is Bugman's Glow. 50-50 Bugman's Glow, Cadian Flesh. Cadian Flesh on its own. Cadian Flesh, bit of Kislev Flesh. And on the end here is Kislev Flesh on its own. What I've missed out is... One of the washes. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to use Reichland flesh or um, Ogrin flesh. I don't think they make Ogrin flesh anymore, so we'll go with Reichland just to make it simpler for everybody else. So, um, so what I've done already, let's move the palette out of the way. All that is there is Bugman's Glow, and we'll go straight to the shade now. Right out. Here we go. Um, yeah, so Reichland Flesh straight out of the pot. Um, I'm using a Citadel base brush um, purely because I don't want to use any of my nice brushes. I've had this brush a while, but it's still got a point on it. You don't really need a point for putting washes on. And I'm just going for the. Um, it's got a thick body to the brush on this one. This is about the size of a two uh, Windsor and Newton. So there we are, I'm going to leave that settle in the recesses and we'll come back when it's dry. Okay, so the Reichland flesh shade has dried nicely. Um, I've put in the eyes now because I find it easier. Um, if, if I did the whole skin and then went in and did the eyes, sometimes I mess the eyes up and the white goes everywhere or the black for the the pupil goes onto the bottom eyelid so I find it easier to do the eyes now and then do the flesh on top um, so you don't have to worry about mistakes or anything like that because I really go inside the, the actual eye area now when I'm painting the flesh so it just made perfect sense to me um, so what we're gonna go with now is the Bugman's Glow back on top of the the, the Reichland flesh shade so this may take a couple of coats I'm gonna have to tilt him a bit so I can see him a bit better otherwise I'm gonna be all over the shop I'm just gonna leave a little bit of the shadow showing so with that nostril bit, I'm not going all the way in towards the, the nose. I'm, I'm leaving a bit of shadow in between just to give that little bit of definition there. Go down the cheeks. And up here, I'll just pick out, I'll start to pick out where the, the frown lines are. see it a bit better so I'm staying up towards the top three quarters of the cheek I'll leave the bottom quarter in the shadow top eyelid there so I'll take a couple of coats for it to show through Uh, sorry about that, I had to stop abruptly. Um, I'm just going to finish off the the second coat of the Bugman's Glow. It was nearly there on this one though. This coat. Let's go back on the beak. I'm going to turn it around so I can see the cheeks. Pick out that line. Okay, right, so that's the Bugman's Glow. Next one is going to be 
uh, Bugman's and Cadian. Okay, so we're on to the next stage now. Um, it's the 50 50 Bugman's and Cadian. This is quite dilute. So I need to spin it again so I can see where I'm actually painting. Okay. So this will just be the top half of the cheek. quite dilute um, I'll show you the consistency now I might get away with just one coat of that but we'll see what it's like when it's dry um, so yeah the consistency is like that. that is too much paint yeah, I'll dip it in the water. Yeah, that's a bit better. I don't know whether you can see that or not. But, um, it's not quite a wash. It's about, it's just under 50 50 paint and water. Yeah, it's quite runny. Um, as I can see this drying now, I might try another coat on top. So let's concentrate on the nose, the bridge of the nose, the nostrils and the top of the cheek. For this one. Okay, it's starting to come now, it's looking not too bad. Okay, so this coat is pure Cadian Flash. The, the area that I highlighted for the, the bridge of the nose, with the Cadian Flash I'm going towards the top, top part. Of where I've already highlighted so I get a little transition and I'm going in the middle of the nostril and the top of the cheek pick out that line again so I quite like that line there bit of character I'll do the other side now. So it's just the top part of the cheek now. Middle of the nostril, top of the bridge, top of that little bulb. Probably do another coat and then come back. So the next layer is Cadian Flesh and Kislev Flesh. I've watered it down a little bit more again. So we're bordering on like a in between a wash and a glaze really. I don't know if you can see that it's quite runny. Um, and I'm gonna stick to the raised areas obviously with this one again. Top of that bit on the nose, top of the bridge of the nose. Really dilute. We'll do about two, maybe three layers on this one. 
just to get a bit of definition there. It might look like I'm going over the same area as the last time, but I'm going slightly above where I was. You can see we're starting to get a nice bit of depth there on the skin. So I'll do another coat and come back. All right, I was debating whether to do a pure Kislev flesh. I um, initially decided no, it doesn't need it, but I thought no, let's go for it. Um, so this is going to be quite dilute. Again, um, I'd say that's about a glaze. So I'm going in, same areas again. If you can get an even smaller area on the nose, which I very much doubt, so I'm just going to go on top of where I was before. A nostril. Get into that cheek. I've gone the wrong area there, so I need to get rid of that. So I just wet your brush and lift it off. It comes off quite easily because it's so thin. And I'll go back in when it's dry. So I just, uh, I believe I just did that. <laughs> Slipped off the plinth. So I notice I didn't go right into the corner of the eye there. I started about under the pupil and brought it round. on the bridge there again and I'll come back in on this side and do the same again so start where the pupil is and just bring it around Any more paint warm warm day today so it's drying quite quickly okay all right, so there we are. That's how I do the skin. Um, I'll just quickly put the beard colour in so you can actually see, you know, instead of it being a, a white surround to the face, once I frame it with a darker colour, you'll be able to see the skin properly then. I know that the, uh, the beard colour's on. Um, you can see the, the skin sort of leaps out a bit more. Um, apologies for the harsh lighting. I think it's it's throwing everything off a little bit. But you can I can put some stills um, up on the old Hammer page uh, on the Facebook group and at the start of the video, so you can have a you can have a look at what it looks like in proper, you know, less harsh lighting. Um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it's the pretty much the formula that I use for all of my dwarfs anyway, so I, I like to keep a little bit of shadow you know, around the nose and um, around the eyes. Yeah, it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Um, so yeah, hope you liked it. If you like it, please hit like and uh, subscribe to the channel for more uh, top tips on uh, old hammer painting I'll, I'll hopefully be doing a series um you know choosing different subjects every now and again um i'll, I'll double that up with the night model stuff you might see there are the, the night models painting on the same channel as well but um yeah um uh, yeah just hope you like it if you subscribe to the channel that'd be fantastic I hit that little bell down in the corner and i'll just give you notifications of every time a new video comes on um, yeah, so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.